I'm wiggling and I'm so mad. I'm telling you, my boys told me I was butt hurt, and I am. So, back to it. Here's one of my reserve national championship trophies. Let me tell you why this trophy is so insanely awesome, okay? And that's what makes me so mad about this whole entire thing. This trophy represents an extreme amount of hard work. I am so proud of it, okay? And I earned it with Crescendo. And I mostly earned it on my own. So horse shows, that's what I'm getting ready to talk about. A lot of people have a misconception about a horse show, okay? I firmly believe in supporting your industry. I don't care if you ride a Morgan, a saddle horse, an Arab, a quarter horse, a Pinto. I don't care if you ride a backyard barrel racing horse. I don't care. I don't care if you go to the rodeo, it doesn't matter. What you want to do with your horse is up to you. And you need to have an outlet to do that. Okay, and again, everybody starts at their own level. So this one right here, my mom and I went, we loaded my horse up in our stock trailer and took him in my 15, 20 year old truck, whatever that it was, in a trailer that most people wouldn't even take to a rodeo. We didn't have stall curtains, we had nothing. We got shavings, we put the horse in there. My mom would sit in little camping chairs in front and like watch the stuff while I unloaded, okay? And back to why this is so important. I had worked my tail off to get him qualified, in shape, beautiful hair coat, taught myself everything that I needed to do. I had started from scratch. So this trophy right here represents the start of something to me that I hadn't done in the past. I had never attended a horse show by myself. <laughs> I didn't this time either because I took my mom. We drove all the way down there. It's about six hours, five and a half, six hours for me. We drove down there. We took our fans, we took everything, okay? It was a great show. And my mom and I, we bond, okay? And she, every single year, the first thing she does, what is your show schedule? Let's go do another one. What's your show schedule? We've had, we call them adventures and we do them all the time. That's what a horse show is all about. It's about prizes but it's about the family. It's about relationships. It's about everything else. So the horse show that was local here that got canceled, you know what? That was going to be someone's very first show. The local shows, they don't ever make any money. And that's why this one got canceled. We didn't have enough entries and it was gonna cost way too much money. M money is, is what rules the world. And it's really frustrating. I try to go to every single class A show that I can. I go to our local, um, Pony Express shows, which are like outdoor shows. Um, they're a one day show where you tie your horse up to your trailer. I will take my stallions and I will tie my horses to a trailer outside. I don't care. I've got my stallions and they've done it multiple times. The big trainers, they are very cognizant of the fact that the little people like me, they lo we love to go to these shows and guess what they don't do? They don't come and they don't ruin these experiences for us because every one of us, that's doing this at home by myself with my little barn out here. We don't have the budget that a big trainer has. I mean, there are people out there that are spending millions on their horses. And I am so happy for that. Because you know what it does? It does nothing but pump money into the horse industry. And that's amazing. That's what we need. Every little girl should have a horse if that's what they want. Every little boy should have a horse if that's what they want. And it starts with ponies and it starts with something small. Not anybody has ever just gone and their national show has been their very first show. For the Arabians, how it works is you go to a local show and you get a first or a second. 
and then you go to a regional show and you have to get a top five. And then from the regional show, you go to the national show. I, um, I take pride in taking my horses to these shows. I try to fill up as many classes as I possibly can. And some of our local trainers do the same thing. They try to take all of their horses. Not every horse is national caliber. I already said that. So the local trainers, um, you know, usually I'm saying local within three or four hours of distance, right? What they do is they, they bring their amateurs that have probably not shown a lot. They bring their amateurs that may or may not want to want to or have the ability to show at the national level. So they bring them to a local show. Well, when your local show gets canceled, here's the thing. So the local show got canceled and I'm talking about trainers right now. Guess what the trainers didn't get? The trainers didn't get paid. They pay, they, they charge a show fee to everybody that goes to the horse show. Okay. And, and they earn it. I can tell you right now it's, it's stalls cleaned, their curtains are up. Um, they get your horse ready for you. Um, all you have to do is, is show up and show you practice with your horse and you do that. Right. Um, so they haul them down there. They clean the tack back to my issue. So all these local trainers, they didn't earn a paycheck the first week of December, not for this show. And you know what? I wonder if they weren't hurt a little. I wonder if they weren't planning on that to maybe buy Christmas presents with or do an upgrade to their barn or pay for the load of shavings that's going to come in this month, whatever that happens to be. So the local trainers missed out. Let's take another one. Local farrier. Every horse show has a local farrier. And um, I get my horses shot at the farrier all the time. There was one of the horses in the barn that was going to go down there. And on Friday before uh, we showed on Saturday, it's going to get his feet done. So that was $55 that I pay my local farrier that I was going to pay him right there. He would probably have had 15 horses. And some of them put new shoes on. Shoes are about 200 bucks. A reset is around 200 bucks. Okay, maybe 150, I don't know. But how much money did he miss out on? So by them canceling our horse show, there's two people right there. Not to mention there's a local vet that has to be there. Every horse show has to have a vet. We have to have an EMT on staff, maintenance, um, janitors, all that sort of stuff, right? I mean, for the horse show facility grounds, okay? They're not permanent employees. So what about those people that were going to pick up and go and have a paycheck for that first weekend in, its, in December? They were gonna work three days, four days, five days, whatever it is, because they gotta go, they gotta set up all the stalls, they gotta clean the facility, you know, all those COVID mandates and stuff, they still do all that stuff. So they clean the facility, they get it ready from top to bottom, they get the dirt in the arena, they water the arena, they drag the arena, um, they, they do all of that. And then while we're there, they're constantly, every hour, coming through, emptying the trash, cleaning up the poop, doing everything. They sweep the aisleways. They, um, they water the aisleways. I mean, there was a lot of people that were impacted by this. That's my point to this. It's not that we're going to go home with a fancy trophy. Okay? Because we're going to go home with a, a little ribbon. But guess what? That ribbon might mean everything to that person that showed that horse. Because the amount of work that you put into that is ridiculous. And there are some people that this is the only horse show that they go to this year. And they will have saved all their money because it is not cheap. It was going to cost me. I sent my entries in and it was a $327 check for two horses to go. And then I had to pay. I paid my local vet because my vet had to come out and get me a um, certificate, a health certificate, because I had to cross state line. I bought my bedding and, and stuff from them. So that person isn't going to make any money. The person that was providing that, the shavings for your stall. Then they had the um, concession stand that would have been open. So the concession stand is now closed and that person didn't make a paycheck. All because they thought that as an Arabian industry, we were not going to have enough horses. I promise you, we would have had well over enough horses because every person that we talked to had not sent their entries in yet. I was one of the few people that had sent their entries in up front. Reason being, you never know what the weather's going to be. Okay. It's December in the Midwest. We may have a Nor'Eastern blow in. Well, for us. 
but you could have slush and snow and ice and sleet and you can't get there. But again, I'm sorry, it's 60 degrees and it's gorgeous. So weather should not have been an issue. Okay. I know it's a long rant. I get that. And I'm still kind of disgusted. And I probably have things that I haven't even touched on yet. But I videoed uh, Crescendo again today. He was one of them that was going. Um, I videoed Crescendo again today. I'm actually going to throw that into a video tomorrow. What I want to show you today is I took him to this same horse show a year ago. And I'm going to show you his entry and some other things uh, a little bit. It's fun. Ho showing horses is fun. <laughs> I'm going to show you two clips and I'm going to tattle on myself here and it's really funny. So the lady that works in the middle ring, she is a doll. Love her to death, known her for 15 years. The first national championship I won, she got a top 10 in that same class and she and I were over the moon for each other. That was our first time ever showing and both of us did well beyond our expectations and we love to show together okay so here's the funny part and, and i'll just tell you on top of that i have a feeling that she and i have completely different political views that she and i have completely different views on many things but guess what horses bring you together having horses is so much more than just mucking stalls and watering and feeding and graining. You go to these shows and you see people and you develop a relationship. Well, anyway, so I'm gonna show you two videos. <laughs> I'm gonna show you the first day I showed, which was Saturday morning, okay? And the crowd had the best time with my outfit. And I really, absolutely 100% did not realize what I had done until they started talking to me when I was showing. And I showed four horses back to back to back and back to back to back classes, right? <laughs> so it was, it was pretty fun. Needless to say, I got needled quite a bit and you will see why, and it's adorable, but that is exactly what showing horses is about. So I'm in there too. And my friend that I was telling you about that's in center ring, right? She's like, oh, hey, I didn't know stretchy pants were what we uh, get to show in these days. And usually you show in kind of like a suit or whatever. I didn't show in a suit because I knew I had to do a whole bunch of running and I just didn't. So anyway, I showed him what I showed him. And I said, oh my gosh, have you ever heard of the song by Stretchy Pants? Stretchy Pants by Carrie Underwood. So you know what? By the next class I came in, she was playing it. If y'all haven't heard it, it's very funny. Um, but anyway, it was a ball. And I have a picture. I'll show you the picture of me. Um, after I won my ribbon and I'm just standing there like it was hilarious. So then the next day I did not wear the same outfit again. I learned my lesson, but that's what this is about. So enjoy watching Crescendo last year and me because uh, that was the only one that was mine. I think that I had that I showed there last year. Um, so enjoy watching Crescendo and me. Thank you for watching. Thanks for listening. If you get a chance, go support your local horse show. Go to the rodeo. Go do whatever. Go to a lesson barn and go watch their horse shows. Because just because they're lesson horses does not make that any less important. It does not make it any less important than a national championship trophy. That doesn't mean anything. Okay? It means everything to the person that's showing. Thanks guys.
Reverse, please. 